A few days ago, I went on a pawpaw hike with some friends. During the previous year, I discovered a large grove of pawpaw trees. And I decided I would come back when they were ripe because I wanted to know how they tasted. Pawpaws have just become my favorite fruit. From now on, here in Pennsylvania, in late September and early October, I'm going to be picking pawpaws. I brought some back with me and I'm going to show you when they're ready to pick and when they are ripe and ready to eat. To determine if a pawpaw is ready to be picked, if it's not a little ugly looking and it's a real solid green and if you push on it and it doesn't give at all then if you pick it and bring it home it probably won't ripen up. When you harvest the pawpaw and it has a little bit of give it will have maybe three to four days until it's too ripe to eat. Ripe pawpaws will have a fruity smell almost like uh, a pineapple when it's ripe. There's different degrees of ripeness. The least ripe pawpaw will be a green color as opposed to this pawpaw, as you can see, it has a little bit more of a yellow tint to it. This is the pawpaw that's slightly yellow. And notice the inside of this pawpaw is a light yellow color. I would consider this to be the most ripe version. You can spoon it out. When the pawpaw's ripe, as in this stage, it's got a wonderful uh, banana, mango, um, pineapple taste. It's really delicious. This pawpaw is the least ripe one that I have. And when you push one, it has a little bit of give. And notice how this one is a whiter color on the inside. And it has a little firmer texture to it. I prefer the taste of the fruit when it's riper. However, some of my fellow foragers liked the taste when the fruit looked white. Let's take a moment and I'll show you what a pawpaw tree looks like and give you some hints on how to harvest them. Pawpaw trees can be found in 26 of the eastern states of the United States. They are typically found in the understory of the forest. The trees only grow to 25 to 30 feet tall, and they don't bear fruit until they're about 6 feet tall. If you look at the trees in this picture, the trunks are the mature, full-grown pawpaw trees, and underneath them are smaller pawpaw trees. The trees like well-drained, rich soil and are often found growing along rivers and streams. Look for clusters of fruit on the trees. Shake the tree and harvest the fruit that falls or have someone pull the branch with a cluster of fruit down. Give each fruit a gentle squeeze. If it gives a little, then it can be picked. The fruit bruises easily. I suggest putting it in a box. We put ours in bags and as we walked along, the fruit quickly became bruised. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.